Good afternoon. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. I'm back out here at um, 1657 C Alito Drive in Glendale, and I'm in the process of performing the follow-up video examination uh, here of the main sewer line for Bennett Hebert. Now we are out here on the 30th of December, and uh, weren't able to get the camera through a, uh, an obstruction in the pipe of some root intrusions. So uh, the recommendation at that point was to have a standard clean-out installed, have one hydrojetted. Uh, what's been done uh, was a uh, conventional snaking uh, through the uh, backwater valve itself, and uh, that was what was decided. And it, it certainly got the pipe clear enough so we could get the camera through. Uh, we're currently looking down into the public sewer here at 120 feet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the camera out from this pipe, and uh, we'll just go ahead and pull back to that area where the roots were at. It was the only area of roots in the line. So we're seeing our public connection here. A little bit, a uh, little bit jagged. Uh, it looks like this is a connection known as a saddle connection. So it was put in after the fact. In other words, they cut a hole in the side of the city sewer and they have a, a pipe fitting that goes over the outside of that pipe and it's sealed with mortar. That mortar tends to, de to deteriorate and you start getting roots. And, Stuff like that, but it's uh, pretty typical. You know, certainly something to keep an eye on, but I don't see there's any issues with it right now. So as we pull off the public sewer back into the six-inch clay, it's pretty clean. Those are some lo loose remnant roots there, knocked loose from the camera. So after the cleaning, and uh, real clean beyond it, and real clean up to it. So we'll just pull the camera back to that point, see if we can get a good, clear view of the of the joint, see as much as we can. What I'm hoping here is that uh, we see enough to be able to conclude that there's no damage necessarily, just the coupling there has been compromised, which does happen. Around that turn, so like I had thought, we run down the street kind of parallel and then make a, about a 45 degree turn here or whatever to run over and drop into that public sewer. So here's the area of roots. And it cleaned pretty good. You know, for a uh, conventional snaking through an access such as this uh, and then getting down into a six inch pipe, that's pretty tough to do. So uh, probably spent some time here and got it cleaned out pretty good. Um, obviously the pipe's draining now. And uh, there's no obvious signs from what I can see here that there's any damage. Uh, again, the coupling has been compromised and it's allowing the roots in, but I'm not seeing that anything's actually broken here of the clay pipe itself. So that little bit of roots at the upper right there might be hiding something, um, but uh, it does appear at a worst case scenario here. Anything that would be hidden could be handled with a lining system, which would mean you wouldn't have to excavate the street necessarily. So based on uh, experience here, what I'm looking at is, is something that's not you know, a significant issue at this point. I would still, however, recommend that the clean-out be installed. Um, that is a standard building code requirement, uh, standard access for the maintenance of the system. and. Um, probably want to jet it anyways here probably in the next three to six months as, as those things start to go back the hydrojetting will really get them cut out good and then uh, we recommend regular video examinations on these situations too just to keep an eye on how they're uh, affecting the function of the system see if the roots are causing any damage that sort of thing all right so with that uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video portion of the examination and then I'll include this video and photographs of this area in the written report, which uh, will come out shortly. This is Mark Harrison with Sewer Line Check Professionals. Thank you very much, and have a pleasant day.